Yo, I don't know if you're one of those people, I'm certainly one of those people, who believes that there are certain things in this world that go much better with pickled beetroot. Cheese sandwiches, cold chicken sandwiches, cold turkey sandwiches, ploughman's lunch. So to make my pickled beets I've got 500 grams of beets which I pulled from my garden this morning. I've just washed them gently to get the soil off. Half a litre of malt vinegar or you could use white vinegar or cider vinegar. A couple of tablespoons of sugar and some spices. I've got a bay leaf, an inch of cinnamon stick and a teaspoon each of coriander seeds, black peppercorns and yellow mustard seeds and a couple of cloves. To begin with I need to simmer the beetroot in water. The small beets I'll simmer for 20 minutes and the larger beets I'll simmer for 40 minutes. Meanwhile put the vinegar and the spices in a pan and bring to the boil. Just as it comes to the boil pop on the lid, turn the heat right down and leave it to simmer very gently for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes just turn off the heat, put the saucepan lid slightly ajar so it doesn't get stuck and then leave to cool for about 10 minutes. Now when the vinegar's cooled a little you can strain it. And you can strain it into the bottle you rode into town with. And then we've got some rather nice spiced pickling vinegar. So here are my cooked beets. Now for the next bit you're going to need to put some gloves on. Otherwise you'll have purple hands for days. Now you should be able to just very gently rub the skin off the beetroot. It's as easy as this. See how easy that comes away? Just rub that outer skin off. There we are, that's one done. There's the skin and I hope you understand why you need gloves for this. I'll just do the others. So here are my peeled beets. Next I'm going to slice them. I'll just cut the bottom off that and then slice them into about five millimetres or quarter of an inch thick. Now here are my sliced beets. Now put your spiced vinegar back into a clean pan, add in the sugar, then bring to the boil. Once it comes to the boil, turn off the heat. Now put the beet slices into a hot, clean, sterile jar. And the reason I'm using a jar like this is because it's easier to get the beets out. Then pour on the hot vinegar, pop on a lid and screw down. So I've made myself a couple of jars of beets. Now you can leave them for two or three weeks and they'll taste absolutely delicious. But I'm going to leave mine for the holiday period. Don't forget to lay down a few beets of your own while you're making these. And do join me next time in Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. Until next time, Huda Havis.